Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again here to our uh, channel at Coco Lencho Japan. So uh, if you have been following us before, so uh, you probably know that uh, we uh, we live in Japan. Uh, we are renovating in uh, Kia, a vacant house in rural Japan. But along with that, we also do some traveling. So today I happen to be in Mojiko, which is a really cool port town in Kitakyushu. And right across from the ocean right here, is uh, uh shimonoseki and uh and that's the common bridge and uh, so i am actually here to pick up my wife uh, she's actually traveling from the tokyo area yokosuka specifically uh to the port here and it was actually about a 24-hour ferry ride she left last night and she's arriving sometime tonight around 9 p.m and uh so i'm just here to pick her up and uh, it wasn't necessarily the most convenient or uh, efficient way to travel down to our area, but it was more of an adventure for her. So, uh, yeah, so, but while I'm at it, let me go ahead and show you around. It's a really cool port town. If you, uh, if you come over to Japan, head on over to uh, Kita Kyushu, which is North Kyushu. So it's at the very entrance of um, uh, Kyushu Island. And it's, uh, it's really cool place because it has a lot of the European influence and uh, let's go ahead and walk around over there like there's a lot of uh, brick buildings and whatnot from uh, from uh, back in the 1800s and earlier when there was a lot of trade with uh, Europe and I believe uh, uh, Holland the Netherlands specifically if I remember correctly because I was here a while back and uh, just for informational purposes we're staying at this hotel right here which is the premier hotel actually not a bad hotel with a nice ocean view and is you know reasonable about 150 dollars a night so not bad just so you could get an idea of the different uh, accommodations that you could get when you come to japan all right let's go ahead and walk around and my apologies is a little bit windy right now so uh hopefully it's not uh, making a lot of noise it's a really gorgeous view of the common bridge uh like i said a minute ago uh, that is Shimonoseki over there, and Shimonoseki is really famous for uh, fugu fish. So if you come to Japan and they get some uh, fugu, it probably came from the Shimonoseki area. That is the Retro Metro Cruise, I think is what it said on it. So it looks like you can take a quick little uh, uh, little cruise around. This would be a really nice time right now during the sunset. Uh, definitely gotta check that, check that out one of these days. If you happen to come here, go ahead and check it out. <laughs> over there it looks like that's the uh, old style um, kind of like a movie uh, film type of thing I'm not quite sure what it's called but it's basically like a old style show again one of the things I like about this town is that because it's very uh, different from the most uh, most of the other towns, cities in, in Japan. Uh, the first time I came here was only like four years ago and really liked the, uh, the architecture and against the influence, the European influence. So if you kind of, if, you, if you're in Japan, you kind of want to experience something different, definitely come on over to Mojiko. Yeah, just really beautiful sunset. Awesome. Again, nice breeze coming through. And around here, there's a bunch of cool little restaurants, but they're also known for 
Uh, they make a curry, like kind of like a custard curry seafood uh, baked in a dish type of thing. It's really good. Uh, unfortunately, I may not have a chance to go eat some today, but uh, if, you, uh, if you have a chance to come on over and uh, check it out, it's definitely worth it. Go ahead and check out this building right here. Again, reminds me a lot of uh, when we lived in Europe. the Dalian Friendship Memorial. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk back towards the uh, port area over here and uh, finish watching the sunset. Uh, please uh, visit this town when you're in, uh, in the Kyushu area. Definitely make it a stop. Uh, it's not a very touristy place. I mean, it's mainly local tourists, so prices are very reasonable uh, not that crowded uh, just a really nice area to come and visit while you're in Japan Okay, so these are the dishes that I was talking about and uh, they're open, so I don't know. I might just go ahead and uh, finish taking some pictures and uh, come back over here and eat. But yeah, that's what I was talking about. Um, the baked curry series. So basically, uh, again, in a, in a hot dish and then uh, it's uh, different from with a uh, different kind of uh, curry when you go to a, a typical Japanese restaurant. Uh, really, really good. So uh, you know what, I might come back here in a minute. But we need to finish capturing the sunset. And over there at a distance, there's also a bunch of other really cool stores. And there's, there's also the retro, retro area. It's kind of like a indoor, uh, I guess more like a cover street, like a market street, a really cool area. Pretty cool watching everyone coming out here and just fishing. Uh, you actually see like couples and everything enjoying the evening uh, fishing as well. <laughs> so that over there is the common bridge again and uh, that crosses over to main island and then you can also uh, drive there's a tunnel underwater that you could drive through and you can also walk through it and that's a good little walk uh, but it's actually pretty cool to uh, uh, <laughs> walk underwater and uh, kind of explore the other side and the Shimonoseki side Now we're on the other side of the canal. Let's go ahead and uh, walk around the, actually this is the hotel right here. And then just kind of explore the other shops and whatnot. And they're playing music over there. 
as well. It looks like a open air concert. Again, one of the things here, talking about the European influence of Phil is that they also have a lot of uh, outside sitting areas where you can just kind of sit and enjoy the park. Uh, if you've ever been to Europe, yeah, there's, they have that quite a bit in the little cafes and ice cream shops and stuff like that where you can just kind of sit outside and enjoy uh, the, the day. All along that side over there, like I said, there was a bunch of uh, cool little shops, uh, souvenir shops and everything. So you can go ahead and uh, buy some souvenirs while you're here. Oh, it looks like the ferry is coming around here, the little uh, tour. So let's go ahead and uh, take some video of this real quick. Yeah, Mojico Retro Cruise, that's what it's called. That's definitely cool. Definitely got to do that. Especially this time of the day in the evening with the sunset these guys look like they're having a good time that's cool oh it looks like different people come and uh they have take turns uh playing <laughs> well, also right here behind me um, is the uh, Einstein building or something like that. Uh, but basically, I think Einstein uh, came here and they stayed at this place. Uh, let me go ahead and go across the street real quick and uh, see if I can find the placard because I, I just uh, I don't remember many of the details other than when I was uh, 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 kind of sightseeing last time. Okay, so here you go. This is why I found the placard. So, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> Albert Einstein stayed here in 1922 after it was completed. That's what it was. Uh, but it's basically an old Moji Mitsui club. In with some of the European influence. Uh, I have not been in there yet. It's closed right now, but one of these days will be kind of cool to check it out. So uh, come and check it out too. Wow, so talking about European influence, so they have a bison, and uh, I have not had a bison in such a long time. When I was uh, stationed in Germany, I used to drink crystal bison, which was my favorite. Heifer bison was pretty good, but for some reason, I just uh, preferred the crystal bison more than heifer bison. Yeah, so here we have the shops where you can uh, buy some souvenirs and everything uh, before you leave Mojico. It's a little cool sitting area outside, all along the canal. All right, let's let's go ahead and uh, make it back around to that uh, that restaurant and see if I could get some uh, food real quick. Then uh, go ahead and head on over to the port and pick up Chogo. Also over there on the uh, Shimano Seki side, they have a Ferris wheel. So right now it's lit up. Uh, so uh, while I'm eating dinner, let's see if we can enjoy the uh, light show of the, uh, the Ferris wheel.
And also folks, when you come over here, I say you can easily spend two days because you have the Mojico side again, which where we're at. And across the canal is where the um, uh, Shimonoseki is at. And there's a huge fish market over there and you can uh, buy some really fresh uh, seafood, sushi, fugu, and all kinds of other food. And you can just kind of sit outside. A lot of people, that's what they do. They buy their lunch and they sit outside and eat there. There is an aquarium on that side. And on this side, right down that way, is a really nice uh, train museum that we visited once before. A uh, whole lot of cool bunch of um, uh, trains over there. So again, you can easily spend uh, two days uh, looking around this area. And then further down north in, uh, in Kyushu area is really gorgeous area. Not too far from here is a really famous place called uh, Beppu. If you like a onsen, that is the place to go. And then right next to Beppu, there's another place called Yufuin. Uh, very uh, kind of artsy kind of place. Uh, lots of nice uh, onsens there. And then a little bit further down there is Mount Aso and a whole bunch of other onsens and uh, places to just kind of spend the day. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, do not leave uh, uh, Shimonoseki, Mojiku, Kita Kyushu, Kyushu, uh, gosh, Fukuoka, uh, all kinds of other cool places around this area. So uh, a lot of people tend to go to Tokyo and all that. Uh, yeah, nice, but quite frankly, uh, when I go to Tokyo, one day I've had enough. <laughs> this is what I enjoy, kind of a more relaxed environment. Uh, like when I go to Tokyo, quite frankly, I need about a day or two just to unwind, <laughs> to be able to relax. Uh, when you when I come to a place like this, immediately you're in, I'm in relax mode. Uh, again, I mean, I, that's just me. That's the way I am. But uh, I prefer a little bit more. Uh, I guess uh, countryside, if you want to call this countryside, uh, compared to Tokyo, Osaka, those big cities is definitely much, much more relaxed. So I mean, we just basically did a, a loop all the way around. Uh, we were walking around here a minute ago, uh, and I just kind of pretty much walked all the way around that way and all back around. And uh, here behind me is that restaurant. Let's go go ahead and eat something real quick while I finish enjoying this uh, this view. Yeah, so I decided to go ahead and sit outside, even though it's uh, quite humid and a little uh, uh, sticky and muggy, but that's yeah, really cool sitting out here. They gave me a little lamp and everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enjoy the my, uh, my meal. I ordered a uh, fugu um, cottage casserole there. Uh, looks pretty cool. So here you go, folks. We're at the uh, Tokyo Kyushu Ferry. So uh, as uh, it's in, insinuated by the name, this uh, ferry goes from Tokyo to Kyushu. Um, and it takes about 24 hours. And right now it's about 8 p.m. And I see a bunch of uh, cars and uh, other type of vehicles lined up uh, here getting ready to uh, load up as soon as the... Uh, the ferry arrives and which is pretty cool uh, I just noticed right here so there's like a travel van right there and way back over there is a uh, RV so this is a kind of a really cool way to kind of travel and just kind of spend uh, the night and uh, on the ferry and take your time and uh, and the, avoid the long drive because from here to Tokyo I would say it's probably about Ah, 14 15 hours maybe uh, so that's probably a two-day drive so you know if you don't necessarily want to drive all the way down you can uh, definitely do this so there's all kinds of different license plates right here so we're approaching this RV coming up here soon and uh, the reason why I want to come up to it is because maybe next year this time or so I want to buy one and uh, oh, this guy looks like they has uh, pots and pans and everything up in his uh, 
a little uh, travel van. That's pretty cool. Uh, I would love to do something like that as well. I'm not quite sure if I'll do like a little DIY type of a uh, uh, van like this one right here. He kind of has a little setup. That's pretty cool. Or an RV, something like this. Um, this would be really cool. I would love to get one of these. And again, I'm really, really, really thinking about getting one next year, this time, or maybe two years from now. So that uh, as I approach retirement uh, and uh, trying to kind of travel around in Japan and uh, kind of do what these folks are doing right here. You know, you could take a ferry. Uh, you could take a ferry from uh, island to island, go to Okinawa. Uh, Hokkaido and all kinds of other cool places. So I don't know. This is really interesting. The kind of different, different view of, uh, or I should say, a different perspective of of uh, traveling. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, make it into the, uh, the the I guess the lounge. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, we check out this van again. This is this is a Toyota Hiace really cool he has again he has this little setup right there mosquito net pots and pans refrigerator little bed it's like a couple they're sitting there chilling uh yeah that's another thing on my bucket list uh living in rural japan renovating an old house was on my my bucket list uh, but uh traveling around in an rv is uh a long 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 time dream uh, i would love to do it in the united states as well and uh so folks you know you gotta you just gotta be adventurous and do it oh here's another cool van right here looks like he's all set up for 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 traveling that's pretty cool has the if heater down there all right let me just go ahead and walk around inside and uh again folks uh thanks for coming along on this uh little side trip to uh kita kyushu uh mojiko and uh, something different and again if you like what you see please hit subscribe share like and uh, follow us along as we continue renovating our hakia in the rural side of japan <laughs> all right folks uh, thanks a lot uh, have a great day and uh see you on the next video hopefully thank you bye